What do you mean they've learned how to take elevators? So they just wait for someone to press it and then fly on in? Pretty much. Dengue, it is a serious issue that most of us who live in tropical climates are familiar with. And in Singapore alone, there have been over 30,000 cases in 2020, the highest number ever recorded for the country in a single year. But what if I told you that there is a team racing to reduce the burden these mosquitoes can bring to a population? Meet Anthony. Hi. He is the co-founder of Stratificare, the social enterprise that recently won the inaugural DBS Foundation Social Impact Prize that grants support to businesses that help the community. We've developed a test kit that can accurately predict whether a dengue patients will move on to develop severe dengue. By doing so, the doctors can make a more informed decision on whether or not to hospitalise certain dengue patients. Our Singapore population is rapidly ageing and we have a problem with the big crunch. For the patients, it's really unnecessary hospitalisation costs being saved. If let's say they can just recover on their own like a flu, why do they have to pay to be hospitalised? Anthony, show me how this test kit works. We are using the liquid part of blood, like the serum, and then adding it to our test kit. We detect whether or not there's the presence of a certain blood proteins and at the end of four hours there will be a color change from colorless to blue and the more intense the color then there may be a higher possibility of the patient developing severe dengue and what we are going to do is wash this well to make sure that it's clean wash solution do you want to try all right did i do it uh -huh. yeah you have to be so still is that what you do like are you just like no. oh i have to be really still there's actually a trick anchor both your elbows on the table and then you'll be very stable we're going to add in the solution that will change color there's a gradient of color of the intensity in blue and just to recap darker means possibly most severe and lightest means possibly not needing hospital That's right. now we'll be heading over to the plate reader this is to put the color intensity into numbers we will send the data over to the doctors and from there they will be able to make a more informed decision whether or not to hospitalize the patient it is very critical let's say a person develops the severe complications and is not provided with timely treatment fatality rates can be as high as 50 percent but with very timely supportive treatment the fatality rate can be significantly reduced to less than 5%. Anthony, if I get dengue, can I get it again? There's four different strains of dengue. So if you were to get like uh, infected by strain number one, it's equally possible for you to get infected by strain number two, three, four again. It's just that you will be immune for life against strain number one. What are some common myths about dengue? One of the common myths is that papaya leaf water is able to cure dengue. Scientists in Asia, they have been trying to run clinical studies to determine whether or not it's indeed infective. There's conflicting conclusions being drawn, so right now I would say that there's still insufficient evidence to really tell whether or not it's going to be effective. One popular search on Google was, what is the mosquito timing? Our dengue's Egypti mosquito, they're pretty much adapted to urban life. They, they fly around during the daytime, bite during the day. They've learned how to take elevators to like the higher floors. <coughs> What do you mean they've learned how to take elevators? So they just wait for someone to press it and then fly on in? Pretty much. Oh my goodness. When Certificate was announced as the winner for the DBS Social Impact Prize, like Keith, our co-founder, he was along the corridor and he thought that somebody's watching like a soccer match and then all of us were like screaming. We are really very grateful for the support. It will go a long way into helping us. We are aiming to start rolling out our pilots across Southeast Asia from Q2 next year. We are looking to get regulatory approval in Singapore and Malaysia in 2022 followed by US FDA in 2023 and the rest of the countries in 2024. Even when the going gets tough, the main sense of purpose is really that we want to help the dengue patients out there. And if you found this video useful, do give us a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Stay safe and see you next time.